go. Um, my name is Will Swan and I teach in the School of the Built Environment and I teach uh, the sustainable use of buildings. Um, the uh, concept that I'm interested in dealing with here is the concept of comfort in buildings. Um, which is an important concept because most energy that we use in buildings is related to people being comfortable. So that's um, heating systems, air conditioning and cooling. Um, and a lot of the ways that buildings use energy badly is how people manage their own comfort in buildings. Um, I'm going to be teaching this to a master's group um, of two people in the sustainable design uh, masters that has just started this year. Um, both of those students are of an architectural background. And I think the reason we'd like to teach them comfort, which is a, I suppose a sociological stroke psychological concept, is because people tend to engineer buildings rather than design them for users. Um, the intervention that I've got, uh, that Penny's got here, uh, is a scarf. Now, I know the room that we're going to teach in is quite a warm room, it's a small room, it's got about uh, 11 computers in it, 12 computers. Um, so I'm going to get one of the two students and I know which one to wear it. And chances are, knowing this student, he will carry on wearing it even though he isn't comfortable. Um, the concept I'm going to try and get here is about sort of relative comfort, um, the differences between people's experiences of comfort, and, and the different types of things that people can do to manage comfort. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm working on a, a way of looking at buildings and assessing where the comfort opportunities are and we're going to do a walk around and take some photos after we've sort of demonstrated that principle. Um, Penny and I work together on this by explaining our concepts and, and Penny will explain a little bit from her perspective. Um, and she helped me identify some of the key issues and ideas. I, mean, I was going to do comfort and habit, but she said actually, you know, about threshold concepts, and that helped me narrow it down and then expand uh, from the intervention into a fuller lecture. So that's how we work together. Thank you. I'm Penny Cook. Um, I work in the School of Health Sciences. I teach public health, and I'm now going to take my comfortable scarf um, I'm teaching a course on epidemiology and statistics for public health. Now, statistics like, is a subject that breeds terror in the hearts of, of students. So, um, I'm trying to work at my um, threshold concept is how to test a statistical hypothesis. Okay, so the like, kind of classical example it, um, would be you could have two groups of people and you could give one group. Um, a, a brand new drug that you've just developed that's going to um, improve outcomes for a disease and you give other, the other group placebo or the current drug and you want to see whether your uh, inter intervention has worked. Well obviously I can't demonstrate that with my students um, with a drug so what I'm going to do is chocolate. So I'm going to get two groups of students, um, just four uh, well, we get eight students, four of them will get a piece of chocolate each. And um, I'm, going to, I'm going to test the statistical, although my research hypothesis is that um, chocolate makes you happy. So, um, yeah, here's my model student here, and he has the questionnaire How happy are you right now? Okay, now having stopped the chocolate, he fills that in. So I'll have four students who will have a happiness score from not to 10. And the other four students who won't have eaten the chocolate, they'll do a happiness score as well. Then going to shuffle the students around into a different set of two fours groups because statistical theory suggests that if you randomise, um, keep randomly shuffling the groups, then the difference in happiness scores should more or less be zero. Okay? So if, you, if you've got a real effect that's due to your drug, you'll get a bigger effect than zero. So that's basically it, that's the, um, the concept, the group is a master's level of the group, um, and uh, yeah, David and I worked together on this by basically decided, sorry Will, <laughs> <laughs> basically decided that, um, deciding that uh, yeah, we couldn't actually give the students a drug or measure any, any kind of chemical component in their blood or any of the other things we would try, we'd like to do in a, in a, a, a health study. Thank you.